this is our T-Rex family, and this is our Spinosaurus family. In the upcoming videos, they're going to compete against each other in several challenges, and the first to 10 will be declared the winner. In each group, there's an Alpha, a Beta, 4 Gammas, and 10 regular sized dinosaurs. As I said before, the first to 10 wins will be declared the winner, but the loser, however, will be fed to the bloop. Anyway, today the T-Rex family is up. I hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, and here we are in the first challenge. This is our T-Rex family and they must defeat a herd of 72 herbivores. Some of them guard their position. Some of them actively move towards the T-Rex family. And at the center, there's a herd of 5 Brachiosaurus guarding it. How far you think our Rex will go? Well, let me in the comment section and let's begin. And they're off. Ready to face up against the first hit of the first, well, the first step of the first hit will be the Ankylosaurus and Pachycephalosaurus. Pachy's caught in the Anki's tail, but well, he'll engage soon up on a par as well. Hmm, I can open the Anki. He got to glance the back of his teeth. There's our Alpha Rex, Beta Rex, and the four Gamma Rexes in the back, and these are the few base Rexes doing the red damage to the first up in front. That's our Brachiosaurus moving forward, coming towards the Rex, but it will take a lot of time before he reaches up to them. Oh, for here's a small herd of five or so Bacchisaptal sources guarding their position. They are killed instantly as you can see right there. And after this, we have two Parasaurolophuses, who of course will die instantly as well. And caught by the horns and big monster. There's our beta rex doing an uh, instant killing that para. There's a second para instant dead, and they're now on the second rank of the labyrinth. I should say labyrinth because it's not really a maze, is it? These guys are stuck, but they will be unstuck pretty soon enough, hopefully. And just sort of guide them. But once the rexes go around and kill the rest, they will catch up. So it isn't too much of an issue. They're a bit caught up here, but most are to get an advantage, which is good to the for the battle. Tying up with a number advantage will really help them. And here in this rank, there's only one dinosaur, a single Triceratops, who is actually the strongest competitor yet. So we have these guys here facing up against the wall. Can't get each other because they're not that smart. So we have a single Triceratops here, and he would be much of a problem. They have done some damage to the Rexes, but nothing major. Wouldn't cause an issue in the outcome of the match, really. And for here now, we have two more Pachycephal Turtles on the third rank of the match. Again, it's gonna be an issue. Then two more Pachycephal Turtles. But further up is where it gets rather serious, because there are two Paras followed instantly by one Stegosaurus. Followed by two Triceratops, a Paki, and two Pirates running across around the corner. And checking back here, we have only one Rex caught up this time, the other two have freed themselves and are, uh, well, on the move. And of course, these guys here are just stuck, not sure what their target is done. And these guys as well, that's super odd, but. Here's where the battle is really going down. Facing up against a Stegosaurus now. Fighting the tail, not a particularly smart move, and that's our Alpha Rex. Knocked on the floor, get back up though. Ready to go right into battle. Attack the Triceratops. But it's actually kind of missing and, well, guilted, obviously. And now they're about to face their strongest contender yet. A Brachian person whose strength actually rivals that of a T-Rex. And Terrorist is the second strongest kill before in the game. Well, they instantly kill the Brachian because one Brachian Terrorist has no match for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Rexes and an Alpha, a Beta, and a 1 Gamma. The other Gammas are, are far back. And we have this regular Rex eh, who should be freed once the Rexes engage with his Pachycephalosaurus. And he is now killed, and this Rex should make him one going to join his family, but 
time. Not sure he'll actually reach in time. Now we have two treasure top again. This would be a fast contender, but against your axis, not really. Yeah, they get up to be marked on Tastarone and well, they are now dead. And I'll be a Rex and Alpha Rex on Essential Full Health. Ready to face you again, some Pachycephalosaurus, a Stegosaurus, and that seems to be it for this round. We actually have a Pachy up here, let's go and get him down. Mm, yeah, and he's dead, but that's okay, just one Pachy, so not gonna cause an issue in the outcome of the match. And that's that Stego out, onto the last dinosaur in this round. The Sixth rank actually of the labyrinth. There are two Rexes caught up here who should be real one to Rex engage with this guy. He's caught up with his Pakistan first, but should be freed soon enough. Hmm. Now the Alpha is caught up. That could cause a problem because well the Alpha is the strongest Rex there by a significant margin. If something happens to him, well that's a severe hindrance beating the match. Three regular Rexes coming up the rear on full health, so pretty good backup in my opinion. They will complete this death run, people for death run, without taking any losses quite possibly. Let's see how they're going, going pretty well. Just two pressure tops to attack. If they complete this, this easy, I may have to increase the difficulty and Maybe do over the battle? Hmm. I guess we'll see what happens when they go to the inner rounds, because it's a bit tougher there. Especially taking on five Brachius horses all together. And again, they're bunched up and kind of pushing each other, which, well, they'll free themselves of that mess soon enough. And coming up the red, there are a few more Braxes. Actually, two gambas and the rest of regular guys caught up on this tag as well, trying to attack it. Rather weird, and here's the Alpha Rex coming up, ready to take on two Paras or Lufuses. Well, that was an instant kill. On to the next end, so I piece of those for us. Fits in the Rex out and one shot killed. Now we have the Stego here who should free up these Raptors. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 Raptors. Well, 10 Raptors about to be caught up there. That means there are only 6 Raptors actually moving towards the center of the battle, which isn't good because Spinous Raptors are not dinosaurs to be messed with. They are similar strength to the Raptors. Here we have just a single Pachycephalus for us. Not gonna be a problem, especially since he's on such low health. And this guy as well, not gonna be a problem at all. Once they actually trigger on this guy and attack him, okay, finally one of them triggered after Alpha triggered them. And let's take a moment to look at how big the Alpha is. He's actually tall on the walls of the ring. For perspective, this is a regular Rex. They have the height of two blocks. And up in front, we have the Bay Tunnel, the Gamma Rexes, going full force at it. The Beta is slightly bigger than the Gamma, and the Alpha as well. Even though he's only one point bigger than the Beta, he looks much bigger because of the, well, the volume though. And that's a power down, and very close to the center now actually. And many Rexes far behind, slowly running up on the rear. That's a terror Xenosaurus, and most of these Rex actually have lost little to no health, which is interesting. I would have expected them to lose on the second or third round, maybe around here or so. But nope, they're going right at it. And only these regular Rexes have actually shown signs of health loss. The others are, well, a okay. And now they're a bit caught up, stuck on the wall, but. They should free themselves soon enough, like right now. The beat is gonna free himself, take on a lone party Cephalosaurus, instantly kills it, just taps and it dies. And now looks like he has one para before facing five Brachiosaurus all at the same time. Let's see where he is, and he is. 
talk on a wall, how entertaining. But the art will push on to the way, now we can make a proper move on. Ready to go to the center, with them as kill this one. Paras for Rufa, that is an instant kill. Now is the, where the real battle begins. Rexus versus this huge rocky source, I mean. He even towers over the elder T-Rex. But we have the Beta, Alpha, and two Gamma Rexes taken on five Rocky sources, so it'll be interesting to see what the outcome is gonna be. Because the other four Rocky sources are all base Rocky sources, again. they have no modifications to the health or attack. But from the looks of it, it's going. We have no deaths yet. And we have the beta stuck on a wall, kind of on top of a Brachiosaurus. That's the elder Brachiosaurus, who is on full health and just towering over everybody, not a care in the world. We actually have a few more Rexes joining in, so that could be a significant help. And we've lost our first Brachiosaurus, being the only four left. Have we lost another one? Yes, we do. Only another one. Only two Brachiosaurus left, one regular size one and one elder Brachiosaurus. And they're not really given a chance to actually attack, but when they do, he does so much damage. Yep, and looks like we lost our first T Rex. Well, who is that to the Rexes? But he is about to die, so. We have one loss of the Rexes and the others are totally alive. So in tomorrow's video we'll see this final source from we do the same exact challenge and we'll see how they do. Maybe they do it with no losses, maybe they die before even completing it. I guess we'll find out. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like, subscribing and until next time I will see you later. Bye for now.